Yo, what's up guys? You were scratching things. What do I got on me today? Got the copper SMF uh, Mike, if you watch this, he'd mentioned in the Strider group. Um, wanted an update. I'll try and get to that before I leave on Wednesday. Got a Rask and SNG. SNG came in handy. Brought home the new camper earlier today and was you know anywhere there's plumbing they just leave holes and just packed it with steel wool so mice don't try and get up if they ever do we've never really had trouble with them before but anyway fill the hole around the plumbing from the basement of the camper up to the living area and hopefully mice can't get in if they choose to if they happen to get up in there um sorry about the sun I had to pick up the daughter one of the kids um oh, it's on here uh okay i didn't i'm i we'll see which video I, I made one earlier today i don't want to seem too bitchy and i kind of forgot some stuff i wanted to talk about um shane uh edgy american had done a live stream last week last sunday mentioned it went over some other stuff yesterday so then i last night didn't know if i wanted to touch on because really the the issue is done it's squashed right um and uh but then he'd also made an ig post go read it if you want he, he was just talking about e-bagging um you know uh basically you know um content creators asking for money or super chat stuff like that uh and i get both sides of it um i don't agree with it myself because it depends like like Someone like me will never do it because I don't make content that's good enough or consistent enough. You okay, honey? Um, the dog. Uh, to ever warrant that, you know, they'll go weeks, maybe a month. Maybe sometimes you get five videos in a week and sometimes you might get none. Um, whereas, say, someone like Javon, right? Daily content, um, has members. Uh, I don't even know how those member things work, so I, I'm not going to speak on it. You can have, be a, become a channel member, and that gets them into separate drawings um, and separate videos uh, aside from his regular content, and, and that's that's all fine because there's there's a an incentive there for people. Then, if, if they choose to join, you know, they have a chance at giveaways and and other videos. So that's on the person, really. Um, I don't get that side of it. Like, I just would never become a channel member, I don't think, because um, that kind of stuff just doesn't interest me. Uh, and then, um, let's see. Um, and then giveaways, you know, the, the live streams, most of them have become giveaway heavy. And there's a lot of people who come in only for the giveaway so are they really part of the giveaway or the community or do they just want free shit um so i guess shane had a with a certain content creator and i'm not going to mention his name because i don't i don't know him i don't watch his stuff i've seen some of it and it's just not for me um he great makes great videos uh you know the editing's great but just not my it's just not what i'm into right and i think we all kind of fall into that when you find the knife YouTube, knife YouTube scene, like with anything you're into, right? It could be baseball cards or it could be any kind of collectible. When you get into knife collecting and become an enthusiast and you start watching YouTube channels, there's really something out there for everyone, right? Um, like Shane. Shane's very passionate about heat treat and, you know, rock wall and the rock, the HRC of a knife and the blade steel, where I'm not. Um, you know, I there's, you know, there's steels I prefer, but I'll take whatever carry whatever and I don't I mean even like on my hard use work knives I never see you know it's just you use it it gets dull and it gets sharpened um so it doesn't like that's something I'm not into um cut tests like there's guys that are that live and die by watching someone cut rope or cut whatever and again that's just not for me that's not what I'm into I like seeing videos of some a knife that I'm thinking of buying or to get a size reference or friends of mine like you know Dave you know, um, people who watch mine, my stuff, know you're going to get American made folders, um, and a lot of Strider content. Cause that's what I'm into. Uh, 
someone like Dave, you're into, if you're watching Dave, you're watching, you know, at first it was, he had these crazy overbuilt American knives. Um, and then, and then he got into grinding. So now you're getting, watching someone go through the entire grinding process, start to finish learning how to grind. And he shows you that every week. Um, so if you're into that kind of stuff, it's very cool to see the progression, what he's been able to do. And, and it's on a journey for him into knife making. Same thing with, you know, like Billy from Apex Alchemy. He's getting into, Dave wants to go into folders right away and Billy wants to do, um, fixed blades but it's it's that journey and or it's maybe you're a budget guy right you like the budget knives and there's plenty of channels out there for that i mean that's the thing there is a channel for everything um slip joints fixed blades folder knife american folders overseas folders it, it doesn't matter what it is there's a channel for you out there and there's channels that are heavily you know giveaways um and someone like and when you start talking about community someone that comes to mind is John Evans, Javon, he gives away two or three knives every week. And they're not knives that companies have given him. These are knives out of his own collection and he's not asking for anything. Um, he's given away his knife collection one knife at a time to, to viewers just to, just cause that's the kind of guy he is, you know, he's super generous. Um, and you hate to see when someone take either takes advantage of that generosity or or what but as a community that's where and then we all kind of find your circle right like there's guys i'm tight with in the community you know uh someone like javon like satu dave i mean and then they don't even have to have a youtube channel you know someone like keith um met him on instagram and through youtube and we're you know friends and we've you know you send knives back and forth to each other you just get to um you get to know these people like someone like pocket metal on paper you don't think we would ever get along but we have similar, uh, um, similar, I guess, uh, in our sense, of, we're similar in our sense of humor and, and stuff like that. And you find someone like that. Hey, honey. Uh, you find someone like that and you're, you know, you just kind of hit it off. Um, but back to Shane's post, what really made me, um, really kind of pissed off was, he was uh, talking about something and let's just say a major YouTuber and Instagram person. We've all watched his content. He's got close to half a million subs and for someone to get half a million subs in the knife world is insane, right? It's not like anything else. It's a very niche market and he's been able to turn that into a career and that's great for him, right? He's worked very hard. We've all watched his content for years, um, but he decided to step in and make comments on Shane's videos and they were kind of, and I reread them. I told this to John, I read them three or four times and it just kind of really bothered me. They were really kind of veiled threats telling Shane to stay in his lane and that he could bring an army in and basically calling Shane out when it's his opinion. And this dude, if you read his comments, if someone ever posts anything negative in his comment section, he blasts them right away. Right? So he's really kind of what I've seen has got this kind of mentality or attitude. Like if you don't agree with me, you're wrong. And I think in this situation, you're wrong for you to kind of have these veiled threats about Shane and, uh, sorry, I'm watching for traffic veiled threats that you post and you guys can go read the comments in Shane's, um, Instagram. Uh, I thought it was out of line. Especially if you've heard the term, you punch up, you never punch down. So you're talking someone with almost a half a million subs punching down. And that's, that's weak in my opinion. That's just a very, <laughs> you're doing that, man. Get a different hobby. Um, glad that he's made a career out of it. Whatever, YouTube could go away at any time for guys like this. Uh, so that's kind of scary. Um, it would be for me like if, if i was basing my whole income on youtube that would be insane like the 40 dollars i make a month is <laughs> is nothing uh so i thought that was weird that he would come in and do that and then he talks about he's that shane's threatening the community well shane is more a part of the community and so is kyle like kyle coonley and shane were having some back and forths with them 
I, I you should go read them yourself and think, think, see what you think. But those two, I would say, are more part of the knife community than this guy ever was or ever will be. They're in everybody's lives. Kyle is a moderator in just about every live there is to help those creators make sure that their lives run smooth and go off without a hitch. Um, this guy's never been, like, they, they go to shows, they know people, they call and check in on people uh, to make sure they're okay if, if they hadn't uploaded in anything. And all. I mean, it's just, it's bizarre who someone who is only solely focused on themselves and building their brand and business, which is fine to talk about knife community when you're not really part of it, right? At this point, when you're that big and all you're doing is trying to sell people stuff, you know, you're a business. You're not really part of the community. You're not in anybody's lives. And I said he would never have either of those guys on one of his lives because it does nothing to benefit him. So that's my two cents. That's what the dog thinks. Uh, I just thought it was funny and really kind of out of line. And there's always that argument too, like people, you know, well, you know, YouTube's free and we're getting this content for free. So the creator should be paid. That's on them. That's my opinion. That's on the creator. They're the ones choosing to upload videos to YouTube. Um, no one asked them to do it. They chose, they choose to do it. So sorry, my daughter took her seatbelt off early. Um, they chose to upload videos. They're the ones that choose to upload videos. Sorry, the dog's gonna go berserk. There's someone at our house. So no, I don't think they should be paid. I mean, if they can monetize their channel, great, but I don't think they should expect to get paid for anything because they're the ones choosing um, to turn it into a job and, and upload the content. So that's just my thoughts. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you later, bye.